at the rational expressions, and these two have different denominators, the first thing we have to make sure is that we have common denominator, and then we can just go right ahead and add across the top and keep the common denominator. So first step here is find what the LCD is. And to make the LCD, what I usually do is take the entire first denominator, 5x, and then look at the second denominator. If there's a piece that we don't have yet, for example, we've already got the x factor here, but we don't have the 6. So if there's a factor that you don't have yet, multiply it in to build your LCD. And then that's it. Those are our only two denominators, so our LCD is 30x. When you're making your LCD, what you want to make sure of is that both denominators are contained in it. So here's the first denominator, 5x, and the second denominator is 6x, so x and the 6 is the second denominator. So the LCD should contain all denominators without having extra pieces or extra factors that you don't need. Alright, once you get your LCD, the next step is to force the fractions to have the LCD as their denominator. 5x needs a factor of 6 multiplied to it to make 30x, so times 6. And that's okay to do as long as you balance out the fraction, multiply the entire numerator by the exact same number, 6. Next one, it's missing a 5 in order to be 30. So we do times 5, balance it out, multiply the entire top one by 5. So what you're really doing when you multiply an entire fraction by a number over itself, like 5 over 5, you're multiplying it by 1. So you're not changing the value of the fraction, you're just changing what it looks like. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to make them look like the same denominators. So now we've got a common denominator of 30x, and we can go across with our numerators. We have 6 times x plus 4 plus 5 times 6x plus 6. Now we're going to simplify the numerators. And then once they're simplified, we're going to factor to see if we can do any more reducing. So first we get, get through clear parentheses, 6x plus 24 plus 30x plus 30, and that's all over 30x. So we've got 6x and 30x combining like terms give us 36x, and then 24 and 30 combining like terms give us 54, all over 30x. So now it's simplified. Our next step is to figure out if we can cancel anything out. And what, what you want to remember for canceling out when you've got a rational expression, you can only cancel something, a factor, that every single term contains. So let's go ahead and see what everything contains. It looks like we could rewrite 36 as 6 times 6, 54 is 6 times 9, and 30 is 6 times 5. That means it's okay for us to cancel 6 from everywhere. So 6 is gone. 6 is gone, and 6 is gone. So now we're left with 6x plus 9 over 5x. And that would be, oops, there we go, and that would be our final answer.